Hey guys, this is going to be a review of After Freedom, the rise of post-apartheid of the post-apartheid generation in democratic South Africa by Catherine S. Newman and Ariane de Lanois. This is a book that I won from Goodreads. I was really excited to get it because this is a topic that I don't know much about. I know a little bit about apartheid and things like that, but nothing too detailed. It's not something I hear about often, um, but this sounded really interesting to me and basically what it is is it's like um i think both of the um writers of this book are sociologists one of them is american and one of them is south african white south african i believe um although i don't think that's specifically mentioned it's kind of implied i think a lot in the book and basically this book is them interviewing a lot of different South Africans. I think there are like seven people um, who they kind of focus on interviewing, but then they interview those people's like friends and family and everything too. So you get a lot of different perspectives and they tried to interview a lot of different types of people. Um, there are three kind of like racial classes in South Africa. You have the whites and like even beyond that there's like one of the girls in here um, has German ancestry and so they're talking about her family being like German immigrants and things like that. So you have those like divisions and then you have the colored South Africans which um, I th it gets kind of complicated and I fully acknowledge that I know like very little about this but from like what I was reading in the book um, the you have the colored and then you have the blacks and the colored are like mixed and then the blacks are like um, not mixed supposedly I'm, I'm sure that it gets way more complicated than that but like traditionally that's how they were separated and things like that and then you have other groups two but those are like the three kind of like big ways that everyone was separated in apartheid hey guys it's like five hours later because my camera went dead and i had no batteries so finally getting back to filming the rest of this and hopefully i can remember what i've already said i was actually really really shocked with some of the stuff in this book. Thing is, I w was expecting to read about racism and things like that, and I had a pretty good idea that it would be really bad in this, like, book would show some, like, really racist views, but somehow reading about it was still really shocking. Like, some of the stuff was just expected, um, like in a really sad sort of way but like one of the white people who's interviewed um one of her family members who's talking i can't remember how they're related to her but one of her family members starts off like he's arguing about something and he's like that sounds racist but it's true and it's just like if you're going to add that sounds racist but it's true to whatever you're arguing then you should probably just not say it i can't even remember what his actual argument was but i'm pretty sure and if it wasn't this this view was still stated like many times throughout the book um like so many of the white people in this book expressed like the view that like white people they didn't use the word superior but it was basically what they were saying because like I can't, they all they all have arguments about why but like so many of them were trying to present things like as just very very blatantly racist views in here it was definitely shocking at times how like blatantly racist a lot of the white people who were interviewed in here were. Um, at the same time it really did show like a lot of nuances and things because of course in like the three kind of broad categories that people were separated in, colored people were considered above black people. So it's not just like white people and then black people which is kind of like the view in America of race a lot of the times. There's the separate category for colored people and then black people in that creates a dynamic that's really problematic too because obviously that's more like division they consider themselves different groups um colored people have had 
I almost I feel bad saying more privileged because they're still like really really oppressed in like comparison to the white people but you know what I mean like in comparison to the black people they've had more generally speaking and it's created a lot of problems too and it's just very nuanced and you have some of the politics currently going on in South Africa with the different political parties and you get lots of different views on that like not everyone thinks the same way not all the white people think the same way not all of the colored people not all of the black people like you have a wide variety of different viewpoints on like what South Africa should do to keep getting better if South Africa is moving like towards progress or is like going downhill because people believe both things in this book and lots and lots of different like shades of opinion so even though there is this like overarching thing of very racist thoughts from a lot of people in this book to the degree that it was shocking it's also I think does a really good job of preventing or presenting a very like um like all of the nuances that different people think I would highly recommend this book like I said I think it does a really good job of presenting a lot of different people's stories showing a wide variety of views of people in South Africa. They did a really good job of like talking to a wide variety, like a diverse variety of people and showing how even within certain groups you have a lot of people who view things differently and there's just a lot in this book that is really really good and I've really learned not good as in the views are good necessarily but good as in interesting to read good to know sort of thing and I would just highly recommend this book I think it's I think I gained a lot from it and I think most people would gain a lot from it and it was just a very interesting book to read so I think that is all and I will see you guys later bye